Hey guys, what's up? It's Evertrooper and in this video, I have a $150 plus unboxing from thecubicle.com. So before we start this unboxing, I just wanna thank thecubicle.com for making this video possible and for sending all of these cubes to test out. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so this is a massive unboxing, but I won't be unboxing both of these cubes because um, this is for someone else, but if you want to see me unbox the GAN 11 and Pro, I have a video over here and I'll be unboxing the Mystic R's 3M so that won't be a problem. Alright, so let's quickly go through what's in the box. First of all, I got a cubicle business card. Very nice. Some replacement pieces for my for my Worm 2020 because as you guys know, I dropped it at the park and broke the pieces. Some 3x3 and 5x5 stickers. Nice. Angstrom lube. And these are actually some premium cubes I got. This is the Pro Shop MGC 2x2, the Mystic Worm 2020, the Angstrom MGC 5x5, and the Gans Cube. Alright, so I'll start off with the cube that I'm least excited for, which is the Pro Shop MGC 2x2. So I figured maybe getting one of these because I don't have a good 2x2, and this is only $15, so very cool bag a pro shop business card a green cubicle stand and the cube itself all right so right off the bat this cube is actually really luby on the outside but that's pretty much expected because this is a premium cube but first turns So right off the bat, this is not what I was expecting the cube to feel like. Because normally premium cubes would feel gummy and slow out of the box. But this one, it feels fast and smooth. And if I were to describe this with one word, it would be usable. Um, I think this one is perfectly set up and it's competition ready. For corner cutting, it's half a piece, reverse. It's decent so if you're finding for a premium setup budget 2x2 this is definitely the way to go and this is only for $15 I believe so I think it's definitely worth it all right so the next cube is the mystic r 3 m 2020 plus this is a hi highly anticipated budget cube of 2020 and I figured maybe getting one in the bag you get some moyu dual adjustment systems a mystic business card very nice a blue cubicle stand and the cube itself all right so a lot of people are telling me that this cube feels exactly like the worm just some minor differences but it's i'll be taking a look at that and that mystic logo looks really sick this cube does come in matte finish like the wrm 2020 but going into first turns Holy cow, why does this feel like the Worm 2020? Oh my gosh. So right off the bat, this cube feels extremely similar to my Worm 2020. This just has a more heavier turning. Although, um... I can't really say anything about this cube yet if we compare it to the Worm 2020 because as of now this cube feels extremely gummy and slow. The lube hasn't been broken down yet but over time this will get better and I'll definitely go back to you guys with a comparison. For corner cutting, um, it can't really cut that much because I think the tensions are quite tight. Yep, it is. 
All right, so I forgot to talk about the mystic feeling that this cube has. The lube is definitely in there and it gives the cube a very soft and smooth feeling, but not really quite fast, but I think over time, this cube will become better and faster. All right, so next up is the YJ MGC Fiber 5. Um, I'm not sure why I'm excited for this, but I really do have some high expectations because this is my first Fiber 5 and it's an Angstrom setup cube. So in the bag, you get a cubicle cube stand and the cube itself. All right, guys, so the outer layers are very swishy and fast while the cube's inner layers are extremely slow, but as I'm turning the cube, it gets a lot faster. I'm guessing the lube is spreading inside. So yeah, I think this is my new main. Well, that's quite funny because this is my only 5.5. Five. For corner cutting, I think it's just one piece. I don't really think you need that much corner cutting in 5.5, five, but yeah. All right, so I think this cube is $32, if I'm not mistaken. And for $32, you could get a budget 5.5, which is premium setup. So I think this cube is definitely worth it. And yeah. All right, so last but not the least, this is the GANS cube enhanced version. In the box, you get a, I believe these are some accessories you get. Oh, wow, I have like four bags in this package now. This is a GAN bag. Um, GAN's dual adjustment system. I believe this is the first cube to have um, a dual adjustment system and core magnets. So yeah. All right, guys. So this is a cube which I've been wanting for quite a while. And as you guys know, cube was my main event, but I'm looking forward on going back to it. So give me some motivation, guys. Hopefully, I get back to it. And yeah. So this cube isn't concave like the X-Man Wingies cube, which was my previous main, but I think that won't be too much of a big deal. So first turns. Oh wow, I forgot my cube, Alex. So um, right off the bat, this feels exactly like the well, not exactly, but it feels similar to the Gan Pyraminx. I'm not sure if this has the honeycomb pattern, but I'm 100% sure it has the core magnets. And this is the first cube to ever have core magnets. I'm not sure if, yeah, it does have the honeycomb pattern. All right, so this cube is really fast. Um, I think it's quite uncontrollably fast, but I'll have to slow that down and test the dual adjustment systems for corner cutting oh god i forgot how the corner cut into cube i think it's oh gosh i forgot how i think it's this one this is what happens after one year of not cubing guys oh there you go all right so at this point i'll be doing some solves and i'll be telling you guys what i think after a couple of hours see you guys all right, so let's talk about the Pro Shop MGC 2x2. This cube is properly set up and it's quite weird because it didn't take much break in time and it wasn't as luby as the other premium cubes I got. Um, I also do experience some minor internal catches which pretty much contributes to some flaws but it's honestly not a big deal. Overall, I think it's a great cube and if you guys didn't know, it's the cheapest 2x2 in the premium line. So I think it's definitely worth it. Now for the Mystic RS3M, a cube that blew my mind. I even forgot this was a budget cube, honestly. After two days and around 200 plus solves, the lube is still there. The magnets are really clicky on this cube, which might be a good or bad thing for some people, but it surely does make the cube stable. I'm really having trouble putting the cube down and I think I like it better than my 11M Pro but it's too early to say honestly. I'll be releasing a review on this so stay tuned guys. So now for the GANS cube. Um, first of all, I want to point out that I suck at cube now and second of all, this cube is phenomenal. 
I didn't realize how light the cube is and the shades really attract me for some reason. The plastic feels really soft and fast and that being, I honestly have nothing else to say. I mean, um, comparing it to the X-Man, I think this one is a more modern version of it, but I still really do enjoy solving on the wingy still. Um, I'll be releasing a comparison video, so stay tuned guys. Last but not the least, the Angstrom MGC 505. So, um, I ended up putting some DNM in the cube because I thought it was way too slow for my liking. And I'm extremely slow at 505, so it'll probably take forever to break in. But overall, this cube makes me want to practice 505 24 7. That was a joke, of course, but it's amazing. Um, and I can see myself using this cube for a long period of time without switching to anything else. So if you guys want to buy any of these cubes, I'll leave links down in the description as always. And make sure you use code FE for 5% off your entire order. Alright, so that wraps it up for this cubic unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'd like to inform you guys that I have a lot of videos coming up by this month because it's spring break. Yay! Yeah, and once again, I want to thank thecubicle.com for making this video possible and sponsoring it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. And enjoy this horrible 505 solve. Peace out, guys.